Flippy flip. Flippy flip. Flippy flip. Flippy flip. Man, I'm doing TikToks right there. Come on out, baby. Don't be shy. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Greetings, Alicia No here. I'm gonna fly the Yuxiang F09H helicopter. You just heard a beep from the radio. That means helicopter has just locked all the satellites and it's ready to take off. It has marked the home point, okay? And you have a solid green LED on top there. Now, I will also teach you how to do compass calibration, but first let's fly it and let's see how it goes. So I'm gonna test the GPS, position hold, optical flow mode, uh, position hold okay auto and manual flight and both high and low speed flights with auto flight modes bismillahirrahmanirrahim so i'm gonna just leave it right here so you can see the gps position hold mode all right it's a lot of wind coming from left of the helicopter if you look at the flags there is a lot of wind today but that is a satisfactory hold apart from it's bumping up and down barometer does not give you a solid hold when it's windy it has something to do with pressure change so this is the flight forward flight full forward full stick forward normally you can see the flight speed on the radio i believe but right now it's too bright to see anything on the radio so i'm just gonna show you just like this full stick forward this is all your speed all right and i'm gonna switch to optical flow mode so that's gps position right here switching to optical flow do remember it will come towards the right of the helicopter after you switch from gps to optical flow I figured it out, I found it out, so never stand on the right of the helicopter when switching from GPS to optical flow. Now apart from the barometer making it jump up and down, the position hold is quite good. If I go higher, normally optical flow does not work at those heights, but as you can see, the helicopter is still holding very good position. Now let's fly in optical flow mode and you're gonna be disappointed a bit because Man, that's full forward and it's just very very slow that's the full speed against the wind and with the wind so pretty forgiving for beginners I would say both in GPS and uh, optical flow mode but those who would love to fly it faster yes we do have something for them and that is manual mode in manual mode you can see the angle of attack all right you just noticed it and you have more speed yeah this is the mode I say fly it like you stole it well maybe not yet because hold on before I do anything more do remember optical flow and GPS is disengaged in manual mode so I'm gonna switch to high mode <laughs> yeah baby this is what we are talking about okay so high speed mode and now you have much more speed much more performance more banking more angle of attack so this is where advanced pilots can enjoy the helicopter sweet now before the battery goes away i'm gonna switch it to auto and gps position hold i'm gonna flip the switch for auto circle it goes forward like away from the center and then it will turn its nose towards the center and it start doing its circle now if there's anything in the middle i mean in the way of this circle it will happily crash like this now it's farther so do remember this there's no obstacle avoidance sensor but you can always control the altitude okay you can make it up or down make it go up and down while it's doing a circle thingy and you can cancel it by just moving the stick and then switch it to figure eight make sure you give it enough space okay and then figure eight again there you go i'm holding the radio the helicopter is doing its thingy 
This is the best time you get your coffee and uh, you know enjoy drinking it while the helicopter flies all by itself. Okay, that's that. Let's cancel it by just hitting any of the sticks. And now, I believe Long says that go in GPS mode 10 meters altitude, press mode. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Have you ever seen a Seahawk flying inverted? <laughs> This calls for a picture. Hold on. Now what happens if the battery goes low? Will it activate auto return to home? I have no idea, man. But this is worth a picture. Who can actually fly your helicopter inverted? <laughs> Look at that. I am flying my Seahawk inverted and the thing is the position hold is really beautiful still while the GPS pointing downward all right let's go up and flip it back Whee! I was almost a scream right there flippy flip flippy flip flippy flip Flippy flip! Man, I'm doing TikToks right there. Will it work at lower altitude? Now, it works only on 10 meters altitude. All right, so I've shown you all the features and now I'm just gonna demonstrate the drink your coffee mode. All right, and that means you switch it to auto return to home, leave your radio somewhere, go grab your coffee. Landing all by itself. What I would suggest is you keep your hands on this arm, motor this arm. Lens, everything cool. If nothing, if anything goes wrong, you can immediately disengage the motor. So people, here you are with the Yuxiang F09H Seahawk GPS rescue helicopter with all the ordnance on it. I believe I have demonstrated all the features of this helicopter. If still i have left anything out please comment on this video and let me know what else you would like to see watch about this helicopter i'll be more than happy to post it stay tuned for some more tutorials coming up next for this helicopter come on you know what to do hit that like button it's right there i know you can do it oh while you're at it also hit the subscribe button right there come on don't be shy just hit it thank you very much for all your support towards my work that i post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you hit that like button right there.